You recently announced your 2011 full year results. How would you sum up the main highlights? Well, I'm very pleased with the results we reported for 2011. Profit before tax was up by 12% and earnings per share up by 14%. Now, for me, there were two key things that underpinned the delivery of those results. Firstly, impairments have been very good and are on an improving trend in both businesses. And secondly, we've seen very strong growth from Vanquis. And overall in the round, obviously, we've been able to increase the dividend by 8.7% for the full year to 69p. So I'm very pleased with the results. The 8.7% uh, increase in the dividend you mentioned, that sounds pretty impressive. It is a good increase in the dividend. And I guess if you go back to the time of the demerger of IPF in 2007, what we said was we'd look to maintain the dividend at at least 63.5 pence per share until we rebuilt the cover to 1.25 times earnings. That's consistent with a gearing ratio of 3.5 times. We were on the cusp of that in 2010, and obviously in 2011 we've come through those targets, so we were able to increase the interim dividend at the halfway mark by 5%, and I'm very pleased that we've been able to increase the full year dividend by 11%, bringing the dividend for a year as a whole to 69p. That's at a cover level of 1.3 times, so a little bit above our target, but uh, very happy with the healthy increase we've been able to uh, give to shareholders. Also, capital generation has been very strong. We generated £110 million of capital during the year, and obviously the balance sheet's in very good shape as well.